Switcher South Africa in proud association with Change Cars. Change Cars is a trusted online website because they work with trusted dealers and the best insure in South Africa. Discovery Insure. Welcome back to Switcher South Africa. I'm Nikki Nash as always, and today you guys join me in silence. I am in the BMW iX3. It is an X3, just an electric version of an X3 for those who are wondering. So I'm gonna tell you every single thing you need to know about this vehicle from all the extra look of the car. Well, you guys should know how an X3 looks. If not, click the link in bio, you will see my X3 M40 review. So I'm gonna tell you the look of the car in front where I think about it, um, the bits of changes they've done, the interior feel of the vehicle, and the most important thing, the drive of the electric car. But for now, let's get into the review. So the extra look of the car looks like an X3. They've just done minor changes in terms of um, for, you, for you to be able to tell that this is an electric X3. So for example, up front, they've closed up the grille so it gives you that electric vibe. Um, then, the, then in front, the badging has blue surroundings, blue meaning electric, um, electricity. Um, and then you have an I badge in front there. So instead of an M badge, you get an I badge. Although this is the M sport of the electric um, iX3. So an iX3 can only get an M sport. You can't spec a different type of spec like an EQB. The EQB there's the progressive and there's the ng line here you get m sport priced at 1.3 million but i'll speak more about that moving on to the side you get these these yellow with yellow wheels but this is exclusively to this vehicle uh, to this electric range and then moving on to the rear end of the car you just straight right i actually tell you know it's an electric car and then by the but the BMW badge at the back, you have blue surroundings. So that's how you know that you're in an electric vehicle from the external look of the vehicle. Getting inside the car, you're greeted by what looks like a normal X3. And then if you look closely, you get small bits of blue pieces. So around by the by the by the steering wheel, by the, around the, the, the BMW lever, there's around the BMW badge, my mistake, there's a there's a blue blue marking. The start button is in blue, the gear lever has bits of blue there. And then where in a normal X3 we will write X3, this one writes iX3. That's with regards to its interior view. But when you're inside the car, it feels like a normal X3. Um, you will not be able to tell the electric vehicle because it looks and feels like a normal X3 inside from the exterior from the interior. It has a decent amount of space. You get a huge, huge um, leg room from the rear. Um, the headroom is okay as well. And then the boot, bed, boot capacity fits um, it's, it's, it's big enough for this vehicle. And those that know X3 know that those cars want for practicality. So moving on to the important part of this vehicle is the drive of the vehicle. And for me, that's where BMW excels. They've made it feel like a BMW. You know, um, as much as you, you feel like the components of like an engine and all of those other things in terms of what you get in like a combustion engine, you feel like it will be missing from electric car. It is not. So the handling perspective, sheer driving pleasure, as BMW says, is there in this vehicle. So it does feel like a BMW. If you take away the fact, if I, if you take away the fact that it's an electric car off your mind and like put you in those cars, you drive it, you would feel that it's a BMW. And that's something that they got so right, BMW in this car. It makes me love the vehicle so much. It feels like a BMW, even when you're not thrashing it, even when you're just driving normally like how I am now, it feels so good. It feels like a normal X3. It feels like an X3 M40, even when I'm just like cruising. It feels like that because an X3 M40 can also keep quiet like this like can be quiet can be a normal car and this is what those cars are exciting in it's a good car but when you put your foot down it goes you can even hear the things moving around in the, around in the car so it goes and that's the nice thing about this car that bmw have managed to give you as much as electric car they managed to give you the best of both worlds so speaking of power well if you move, normally i'll be telling you it was a 3 liter 4 liter 5 liter no 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 this is the battery in here you know um so Speaking of power here, you're looking at 210 kilowatts and 400 newton meters of torque. All that power is sent to the rear wheels. And I'm sure you guys will be asking, so when you put your foot down like that, do you get any wheel spin, all those type of things? Fortunately enough, in this vehicle, you do not. Um, BMW have collaborated that so well that even when you're on a stand, at a standstill and you put the, and you put the car in sports, and you put your foot down, it will not lose traction. It will just grip and then it will go. It won't be as quick as something that's four wheel drive, obviously, but they've managed that so well. So the power is there in this vehicle and it being a three wheel drive only, it makes it lighter than what it should be in my sense. So batteries are already so heavy. So if they made this for X drive, right? And that uh, it being X drive would mean more battery power in front and all that, it would be so heavy already. So it doesn't feel heavy. Um, so for, for reference, we had the EQB 
350 on test um i think two months ago and that felt quick right and the, but those feels quicker because it's not as heavy or, or i'd like to think it's not as heavy as the aqb so the drive aspect of this vehicle it feels good and speaking of the drive aspect in terms of range of this car they claimed total range on full battery charge is 460 um i've been just getting under 400 um, obviously that depends on your driving style and this being a test unit obviously there's different types of driving styles so the person that had this car before me won't drive it the same way i do so the car is not thinking what type of person is getting in the car but you as a as a, as a, as a customer buying a vehicle you most probably would like to get closer to that claim fuel efficiency depending on how you drive so now the, the nice thing about this about this car right it has something called one pedal drive right and this is my first electric car that i can actually do like full one pedal drive the other electric cars as much as it was a one pedal drive the car wouldn't fully stop by itself so in this vehicle there's you can put the car in drive and then flick it to the flick the, the gear lever to the left it'll go into b b is regenerative braking so that's when it's charging when, when you're braking it's sending charge back into the battery so that your range can be it won't eat up as much as it normally would so in this car you can set it you can set it on low you can set it on medium you can set it on high and then you can have it on adaptive adaptive means it will adapt to the way you're driving it will adapt to your to the car so it will be thinking for you so a lot of people don't like the region braking and Vaughn, for example um, the man is always behind the camera for, for for the channel he does not like it so if someone like him you put it in like low or in in like auto then adaptive so the car thinks for you Whereas myself, I love it. So on this car right, currently right now, it's on high. So I do one pedal drive. I hardly go on the brake unless if I really need to. If I just I need to brake now, I hardly go on the brake. As I'm slowing down now, I did not touch the brake and the car has stopped. No, so that's the nice thing about the, the, the one pedal drive. You do not need to go on the pedal. As I don't need to go on the brake as long as you know when to stop and you, know, you, you learn it these things you judge the vehicle you learn all those things so as we're moving you go back on the on the accelerator it goes you let off the accelerator you'll see me move forward a bit let me just hold on there that's the car braking for you and then regen so that's the nice thing about this car i love it my some people some people won't if you do get an opportunity to get into an electric car should try it out and so i've essentially covered what you need to know in terms of the electric fuel electric drive of the vehicle most important thing you guys are wondering how much does this car cost actually so you're looking at 1.3 million rand for this vehicle exact price is on the screen so if you finance that over five years at an interest rate of 12.25 five years meaning 60 months i'm um, at an interest rate of 12.25 percent you're looking at it paying 31,500 rand that is a lot of money um but if you have it why not now looking at price right so an x3 competes with the glc not a, not the mercedes-benz glb but because we do not have an electric glc in south africa and if you look at price this car is play, is is playing around the same price as the eqb eqb is around those prices well i think the eqb um 350 mg line is around 1.3 if i'm mistaken so it's, it's essentially this amount of money so that important that important question that i'm going to ask myself so that you guys can, so that you guys if you're asking yourselves i can answer it for you between the ix3 and the eqb 350 which one is a better offering vehicle and which one will i go for honestly better offering i would like to think is the one i'm currently in the bmw ix3 because in terms of range you get run about the same amount obviously eqb has a front axle so you, it's it's four wheel drive whereas this is just rear wheel drive in that aspect right that's where eqb is upper hand but for me personally i feel like this is the better offering because of what it comes as an overall package in terms of capacity um practicality this is much better this is much more spacious than than the mercedes-benz EQ, eqb so i would like to think this is the better offering i personally would go for this one because it gives more as 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 a consumer as a buyer you get more from this vehicle than you would from an eqb um and i just like the look of this one is so much because i already like the look of of an x of an x3 so why not just get an ix3 if you can so that's with regards to um the two vehicles which one to go for which one is my cup of coffee and my cup of coffee honestly is this one comment down below which one is your cup of coffee comment what i have not covered and if you have any more questions comment down below i will do my best to answer those questions but for now i hope you guys did like the content keep it locked remember to like comment share and subscribe but from such a south africa i'm nikki nash and i'm signing out and i'll see you on the next one